in the last video I showed everybody how to um, use the database wizard to um, create a database for a uh, for a database driven website like uh, creating a Joomla site or you could use it for a WordPress site or anything like that and then in this tutorial I'm going to show you instead of using the MySQL database wizard you could use this tool right here the MySQL databases and this is a, a nice tool that cPanel offers to control your databases. When you get into it, um, first off, right off the bat, you can uh, just create a data by, database by this um, by this form right here. Um, let's see here, uh, DB. I could put DB three database three. So the new database's name will be um, your prefix, your name prefix with an underscore, and then whatever you type in here. So I could hit create database, and it creates that database. All right, I'll click go back. And now that I've created that database, all right, um, uh, you can now modify databases, check database, repair database, just choose the database you want to mess with, right? and then click on these buttons. Um, the other thing is that when I go down here, I can have a list of all the databases, and there's the new database, and you can see it doesn't have a user. So I need to assign a user to this database. Now, I can create a new user. So um, I could say my username is uh, uh, my admin, right? So there we go, my admin, I'll create username, and then I can create a password here. Once again, you want to have uh, a password that has a, uh, a pretty good complexity. So don't use like one, two, three, four, or don't use the password admin, or don't use the password password with an at symbol for the A. Um, if you want to, use the password generator and then copy and, and uh, paste uh, the generated password into a text file and save it in a safe, spa safe spot. So I could just type the password here, let's say, um, right, so I am typing the password, and um, it tells me right away off the strength of it, it's weak, and the reason it's weak is that I, I used in this password all lowercase letters and no numbers. So if I just was to say, add a number at the end, it improves the complexity. But if I, I added also some capital letters, it would add some, um, some complexity too, right? And let's see here. So now I added some complexity, and now it gets a ranking of 40. Uh, it's no longer considered weak, right? So um, I can hit Create User and go back, and now I have a new user to match my database. I could have um, used one of the users I've already built right and so now I'll go down here to the next part and it says add user to database so I'm going to say my database is DB3 database 3 and I'm gonna add the my admin um, user to that database just click add and now I have to assign privileges um, I need to do all privileges if it's gonna be a, uh, a user for a Joomla site I wanna have all privileges make changes and click go back and it's that easy so now I have the data I have a database called Dan Dan underscore DB3 and I have my user assigned to it and all I need to know is this is the the name of the database I'll need to know that for when I'm running the installation script for Joomla I'll also need to know my user for my um, uh, database and I'll need to know the password and that's all I'll need to run through that Joomla installation script. If I want to delete a user, I can do it here, right? If I want to delete a database, I can do it here. And that is the database, MySQL databases tool. You click here to go back home, and that's it in a nutshell. Uh, it's a nice tool and a handy way to work with all of your databases and see all of your users that you're working with. You can see also here I have uh, PHP My Admin access. If I click here, It'll open up um, a browser and give me uh, PHP uh, my admin login. And uh, this is, you've probably seen this before, working with your uh, local uh, WAMP server implementation of Joomla and your local, um, uh, let's say, WAMP or MAMP or LAMP 
or XAMPP, uh, you know, Apache, MySQL, PHP um, server implementations that you'd work with on your home computer. All right, that's it for this tutorial. You can see um, that it's pretty handy. cPanel is great. I love it. Once again, I want to thank um, PenguinWebHosting.com for helping set this up for uh, me and my students to be able to um, uh, spend some time uh, with uh, cPanel and using uh, controlling a web host for a, a website designer and manager.